Remember you saw this example 4 in your lecture notes. This is what we call a helix. And the x function is given by cosine t, the y function is sine t, and the z function is just t. And you were shown the actual shape of the curve on this three-dimensional Cartesian coordinate system. It starts from the positive x-axis at coordinate 1, 0, 0, and then it goes in an anti-clockwise direction and it continues to move upwards. Because the z-coordinate is a function of time and time is increasing. So how does the animation look like? Let's take a look at this animation on the left. The starting point once again is on the x-axis at point 1, 0, 0. So this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis that is perpendicular to it. So let's begin the animation. It begins to spiral in an anti-clockwise direction and moving upwards. The orange color straight line is actually the position vector of the point on the curve. So the position vector is also moving. So one last time. Alright. Now let's take a look at another example that is not found in your lecture notes but is nevertheless still found in your textbook. This is what you call a toroidal spiral. The parametric equations are given by these three equations here, x, y and z. And the shape of the curve looks something like this, very complicated. There's no way you can sketch this curve by hand. So let's resort to some kind of animation here on the left again. This is the initial position vector of a point on the curve. It slowly begins to trace out the toroidal spiral. Let's take a look at the curve from another perspective. Let's say from this perspective. The initial point of the position vector is always attached to the origin. Alright, so that's all for today's online demonstration of the 3D plotting of the parametric curves. See you next week.